This video is for entertainment purposes only. All of the information in this video was taken from the internet. I am not saying the information is fact. Uh -huh. G, you thought I was a gook? Gook. Your dumb. A loop. Loop. She a dead ass dumb. Dead ass dumb. She a buzzed ass dumb. Buzzed ass dumb. She a green ass dumb. Green ass dumb. She let me grease for two bees. Two bees. Let me grease for two bees. Two bees. She let me grease for two bees. Two bees. Two bees. Yeah, she let me grease. For two bees, yeah, she let me grease. Ha, she see the big red T. She see the big bando. Big bando. Now your dog. G boy chilling. My little brother, my big brother. Big go TJ. And TJ, three way TJ. Yeah, y'all do that. Uh, yeah. On January 20th, 2024, an unfortunate incident took place outside a Best Buy store in Broward County resulting in four individuals being hospitalized, one of whom has tragically passed away. The police are currently conducting an investigation into the shooting. According to authorities, a group of four people was leaving the Best Buy when they were approached by another group in the parking lot. The second group began firing shots, injuring two members of the original group. Additionally, two innocent bystanders were also wounded but are now in stable condition after receiving medical treatment. One of the victims, identified as 17-year-old Terrence Carrington, was critically injured and attended a private school in Pompano Beach. As of now, the police have not released any information about suspects or persons of interest. The targeted victims have not been cooperating with investigators, making it challenging to establish a motive for the shooting. Terrence Farrington was a promising young individual with a bright future ahead. He was known for his athletic abilities, particularly in football, and was loved by his classmates, teachers, and staff at Youth Under Construction Youth Center, where he attended school. The loss of such a vibrant and well-liked student has left the community in shock and sorrow. The police are treating the shooting as a homicide and are determined to bring the perpetrators to justice. The lack of cooperation from the victims and witnesses poses a challenge, but law enforcement remains committed to solving the case. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of gun violence, particularly among young individuals, educators like Delvin King, principal of youth under construction high school, express their frustration with having to explain the absence of a classmate due to senseless acts of violence. We begin tonight with breaking news at a plantation. Four people rushed to the hospital after a shooting at a Best Buy. Good evening and welcome. Police say bullets flew outside and inside that store when a dispute took a dangerous turn. And now they are searching for a shooter. The night team's Elite Sabizios is live in plantation with those details now. Elite a good situation here tonight in Plantation. Two of the four shot were just here at the Best Buy shopping. I'm gonna step out of the way so you can see what's happening here. Uh, before we move to the investigation, you can see this white SUV. In the passenger side, there's a bullet hole and our photographer, just who's gonna pan down right above the tire there near the hood of the car, there's one, two shots there. Why don't we show you some pictures uh, from inside the store. You can see a woman with a, a bloodied leg who was rushed to the hospital. Also a man that's been put on a stretcher as well. Uh, again, two innocent bystanders here shot. Uh, what Plantation police are telling us is that a group of four were walking out of the store and two were waiting for them outside and they opened fire. So the two people that were shot and targeted, one of them fighting for their life. All this happening around eight o'clock tonight uh, at West Sunrise Boulevard and North Flamingo Road at the Best Buy. Four people were shot in a Best Buy in Plantation last night. One of the 17 year old victims has sadly died from his injuries. Local 10 Sterell Fournay joins us live from Plantation with the details on the investigation. This was a targeted shooting that according to detectives with the Plantation Police Department, but there were innocent bystanders caught in the middle. Right now, we know that one of the shooting victims has died, as you mentioned, but three others are recovering in the hospital. 
closed for business. This is what customers are finding at this Best Buy in Plantation Sunday, just one day after gunfire sent shoppers scurrying. That's the one that was shot in the arm. Cell phone video partially captured the aftermath. Four people shot outside of the store. One victim seen here on a stretcher. Police were called to the area on West Sunrise Boulevard near Flamingo Road around 8 Saturday night. Detectives say a group of four people were walking out of the store when they were approached by a second group armed with a weapon. Someone in that second group opened fire, hitting two of their targets. Another two innocent bystanders say police were hit by bullets. Here you see another injured victim inside of the Best Buy. Outside of the store, a large crime scene where officers surrounded a white car, a side window with obvious bullet holes spotted here, and a window on that electronic store also shot out during the wild scenario. To a sad update to a story we first brought to you as breaking news last night. Police say one of the four people hit by gunfire outside a plantation Best Buy, a 17 year old, has died. NBC6's Nico Clemens is at the Best Buy where he spoke to the teen's principal. The principal spoke on behalf of the teen's family. They are heartbroken. They say he was smart, didn't miss school, had a bright future ahead of him. Unfortunately, he was shot outside this Best Buy and the teen's principal believes the teen was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was just that student that everybody loved and attached and grew to. In school, he stood out. 17-year-old Terrence Farrington was an A, B honor roll student, a student athlete. His principal describes him as energetic and funny. He was one of those students that all the teachers love, all my administrators, even the bus drivers. Delvin King is the principal of Youth Under Construction Youth Center, a private high school in Pompano Beach. He says he last spoke with Farrington Friday as he was getting on the bus. He told him, I'll see you Monday. Plantation police say four people were walking out of the Best Buy on North Flamingo Road and Sunrise Boulevard Saturday night when another group approached them and started shooting. Two of the four were hit, including Farrington. He died at the hospital. This young man was an asset to me. It was an asset to the school, asset to the mom, to the family. You took a part of us. Police say two innocent bystanders were also shot. Okay, we don't have a shooter at this moment. Lock down the parking lot. Detectives say the shooting was targeted. However, King doesn't believe his student was the intended target. In my belief in what I know him as and the student that I know him, he had to be in the wrong place at the wrong time or with the wrong people at the wrong time. He'll never be able to touch that football. He'll never be able to put on that number two jersey. The empty classroom chair of 17-year-old Terrence Farrington sits with his football jersey surrounded by his pictures and flowers a day after his life would be cut short when the teen was shot outside of this plantation Best Buy Saturday night. Just a receipt of the call that you just don't want to hear that Terrence is gone was just a complete, I was just wrong. Delvin King, the director at Youth Under Construction, a youth center Terrence attended for the past year, described him as a student who was outgoing, an athlete who played for the school's touch football team, and someone well-liked by his classmates, teachers, and staff. Everybody loved Terrence. Terrence was always that student that had to break out in the dance. Plantation police said it was just after 8 where four people were shot outside of this store near Sunrise Boulevard and Flamingo Road. This cell phone video captured the aftermath with one victim seen on a stretcher. Investigators said the gunfire rang out just after four people walked out of the store when they were confronted by a second group that started shooting. Two people who were targeted were hit. While detectives said two innocent bystanders were also shot. While suspects quickly took off, the victims were all rushed to area hospitals to be treated for their injuries. Sadly, Terrence did not survive. He was that most energetic, that, that student that every staff member um, loved on and wanted to be connected with. At noon, the teen killed in a shooting outside of Best Buy and Plantation is being remembered today. And four people were all shot while leaving that store over the weekend. Police still searching for the person responsible. And Local 10 News reporter Joseph Hojo is live in Pompano Beach. And that's where several events were held today to honor the 17-year-old who lost his life, Joseph.
And this was a Memorial Day for that teen known as TJ who did die in that Best Buy shooting over the weekend. His fellow classmates, they were very emotional throughout the day as they reflect on his life and learn from this tragedy. 17-year-old Terrence Farrington Jr.'s number two jersey draped over his classroom chair. Thank you for the life of our dearly beloved brother. His picture, flowers and candles nearby, a memorial for the life that was cut short after a shooting at a Best Buy in Plantation. Down my dog like since, since, for about two years and I was real close. You know, he always made me laugh, always been there for me, checking up on me. We gonna miss him. His emotional peers and loved ones say, his now empty classroom chair symbolizes a void in their life as they now live with the reality that TJ, as he was called, is gone. We used to have a saying, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Game to change. You can be here today and gone today. We're down this road too many times. We've traveled this journey too many times. For the past year, Terrence attended youth under construction in Pompano Beach. He's described as an outgoing athlete who was on the school's flag football team. He was the, the life of the party. He was a student athlete, um, great on the field. Um, he was a great personality. The teen, who was well liked by his classmates and teachers, was killed in a targeted attack over the weekend at the Best Buy near Sunrise Boulevard and Flamingo Road. Police say Terrence was part of a group of four leaving the electronics store when they were confronted by another group and shot at. Two people who were targeted were hit by the gunfire, along with two innocent bystanders who were also shot. All of the victims were rushed to area hospitals to be treated, where sadly, Terrence lost his life. We gotta be at a, at a premium to where we would not allow this to continue to happen in our community. I preach it, I preach it every day, I should teach it to my son. Like, just saying, that ain't, that ain't the way. An emotional but important message from a South Florida father. He is mourning the loss of his teenage son, 17-year-old Terrence Farrington Jr., gunned down outside of a Best Buy store and plantation over the weekend. Today, loved ones held a vigil to honor his life as investigators continue to search for the suspects behind the shooting. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench brings us up to date. Loved ones, fellow students, and friends came to this park in Pompano Beach to honor Terrence Farrington Jr. as his father speaks out for the first time. A father is humbled as he and his wife watch as dozens of balloons are released in Mitchell Moore Park in Pompano Beach. Terrence Farrington lost his son Saturday night. I just appreciate everybody coming out. As you see, he was a love kid, like, full of life. Full of life. What did he mean to you and your family? He meant everything to me. Police say the 17-year-old Farrington was with three other people leaving this Best Buy store near the Sawgrass Mills Mall when another group opened fire. When you heard what happened in this incident, what went through your mind? This can't be true. Farrington was a star football player at the Youth Under Construction High School. He was one of those students that was more of a leader. You know, he was a junior but he stood out like a senior. He helped seniors. Farrington had big dreams. He just recently, he wanted to learn how to cut hair, go to barber school. Police have not said if they have a motive for the shooting. Three others, including two innocent bystanders, were wounded and the suspects fled. They're not really saying that right now. They still doing their job, but they're working. They're, they're, trying to, they're trying to get some justice. It's a situation that we're all hoping that it was mistaken identity. You know, because he was that student that changed his ways. Farrington's death has shaken students. Too much people dying at a young age. I had somebody who died recently, and I, I know how it feels too. Farrington's father has a message. Put the guns down. I preach it. I preach it every day. I should teach it to my son. Like, just saying, that ain't that ain't the way. What would you like to say to the public, to people out there? If they know anything. If you know anything, come forward. Because you can be in the same spot I am right now. The plantation Best Buy, guys, you can't believe it. Everyone's telling me to get over there. Well, I'm here. But real quick, this scene is so large, this is as close as I can get. Look at this video. Story goes is that some oppositions were following someone in the store. They seized the opportunity to chase their wanted target into that, you know, Best Buy. They story is someone they grabbed the shotgun, started blasting it. Other people were hit, so about five people shot. We're saying one person died, but we don't. I don't want to say that yet until it's fully confirmed. 
But this, I'm just trying to keep a little bit of an update. Now, you got to have to really work with me because I'm still working on a story when it's something major like this. I like, really got to wait. I, I don't like to just go all in. I want to wait a little bit to get some more information. But this Saturday night on 8 p.m., right in closing time, this whole craziness had to happen. So the story is that someone was trying to kill someone, targeting those suspects fled the scene. In the gritty world of rival street gangs, Money Gang TJ finds himself entangled in a heated feud with Murder Gang slash Scud ENT. The origins of their beef remain shrouded in mystery. But tensions escalate when it is revealed that many members of the Murder Gang attended Parkway Middle School along with Money Gang TJ, adding an unexpected layer of complexity to their rivalry. On July 20th, 2021, tragedy strikes the Money Gang TJ family when Jaco BD. Muezzin, better known as Kobe, the older brother of Money Gang TJ, is involved in a fatal bike crash. The circumstances surrounding his death are tragic and accident. However, instead of uniting in grief, some members of the murder gang seize the opportunity to taunt and disrespect Kobe's memory, both on social media and through their music. Money Gang TJ refuses to let these insults go unanswered, fueled by a mix of anger grief, and a desire to defend his brother's honor. TJ unleashes a wave of distracts and social media posts targeting murder gang slash Scuddy Yanti. His retaliation marks a turning point in his involvement with street activities, as TJ becomes more active in the streets, seeking retribution for the disrespect shown towards his family. The feud takes an even darker turn on December 15, 2023, when Murder Gang suffers a devastating loss, John Pompolis, known as J4, and a member of Murder Gang slash Scuddy NT, is tragically killed. It is important to note that Money Gang TJ and his gang had no involvement in this incident. However, TJ takes the opportunity to directly message Murder Gang members on Instagram, informing them of J4's death. In a somewhat provocative manner, TJ uses this communication to convey a mix of condolences and taunting, further intensifying the animosity between the two gangs. Fucking mace, not the brody out his slide, he tried oh, to get no. away. Steady speaking all the cool, I'ma eat your face. Steady chatting about the bros, put you in your place. Oh, bit through away, stick the bit, eat your face. Brody got a glitch, pass me the BO. When I catch a scutter, I'ma send his ass home. We got Dre in his bitch, trying to send his ass home, yeah. Dummy. Free the fucking cow, pass up at that cutter. Shots everywhere, I don't give, I don't give a fuck. We don't do no sparing, hustle up at that splat. Leave you everywhere. I'm out, they gonna leave you everywhere. Oh, I'm out, they gonna leave you everywhere. 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 Damn, I'm really high as fuck. Dolo died with a whole clip. He'll fuck it up. Hey, he ain't put up a fight. When it Cuz, what's up? Stop flagging, cuz. Yo, why you be flagging? What is you talking why you seeing me there? I ain't even know we had me. Why you flagging? You talking about you ain't know we had me. Why you flagging? Cuz why you ain't come back, bro? Bro, why you flagging? Just tell me why you flagging, cuz. DJ! Tell me why you flagging, cuz. We could be business. Oh, we could settle this right now. Tell me why you flagging. Bro. Let me know why you flagging. You listen to the little yab and shit. Tell me why you flagging. You know why I be how you see me at the morning you ain't do shit. You just be flagging. You showing guns and shit that you don't that's not even yours. It's not even yours. Like come on, you be flagging. You know what's up about me, bro. Get out of here. You want smoke a nigga boots, pussy bitch. After the death of money gang TJ. Murder Gang slash Scud ENT began to openly disrespect him on their social media accounts and through their music. This disrespectful behavior on social media and in their music only added fuel to the fire, intensifying the feud between Money Gang and Murder Gang slash Scud ENT. Solo.
a foe, now his ass a pack Fucked up on that one shit, for sure I got a double back Shoot from the gate and Jevo steady talking to the Jays, they trying to build a case I can't wait to catch him when I do, yeah that's DOA Spin up but we saw that paperwork, you had a lot to say Tell him no your man's for a deal, yeah that shit is shame Call her, try to fuck him for a watch, the bullets ate his face TJ called a body shot, that four made a heart shake Lee called a hand shot, the bullet left his ass bait Three dead off, it's a lot more names I gotta say Ooh, I smoke <laughs> Tryna bang it out, spinning through the veil in the G, they never I saw. Caught him in that bed at the end, dropped him out surprise. TJ has a pack for real, should've never dissed the guy. One day by the Yemi, he'll make a nigga face go. Randy sit on gloves, yeah, you know he got a take though. Zilla. I don't bust so many niggas, I think it's a bag on my head. Gotta come with the cutters, cut these niggas won't be dead. Dead dog, nigga, you get hit over that land. I came with a troll with a yell. Free real. And make it back home. Feeling all alone. I'm in every song. Smoking on TJ for the mom's new shoes. Call us a dickhead ass on to the moon. Leak die last year, that shit happened too soon. Fuck a wolf, nigga, we don't go. If a fool, now my ass, man, niggas fool. Little as a bitch, we don't stick his ass too. If I knew, kill my man, you would have seen me in the stool. Brody said we finna go, yeah, and change our shoes. Despite facing online disrespect, the family and friends of Money Gang TJ remain resilient, choosing not to let it affect them. They continue to pay homage to Money Gang TJ by sharing tributes on their social media platforms.
smart God. Damn, my socks about this full of steady wood and you get pumped. And I ain't sparing nobody who claim they fucking with an arm. I ain't got to drop no back. Nigga vomit, 7.62 blowing like a damn trumpet. Like a trumpet, like a beat a band. Nigga woofing on the net, but we never see this man. My nigga spinning fast as fuck, like a ceiling fan. When I see you knock you out your socks, do the diddy dance. Alright. Go, 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 go. Come on. Let's go. Niggas don't do no talking, but I'ma talk my shit up on this beat. Goofy man keep dissing in them songs like he ain't run for me. Niggas scream at murder game, but they ain't never catch a beat. If you throw a three, better be careful, cause we swing for me. We have busted shit for roof. Who wants smoke just let us loot? We gon' call his bluffs and see they're wrong for capping in that song. Low love my roof. Derek can't believe I put my nigga on home. Thomas, we ain't done if it's so tall, them niggas gone. Hey, Matt, we hot as shit. You wanna die, just drop this. Beat the mama back and off the face, you know I had this. Cause that nigga sneak into the store, they drop on blue blood kiss. DJ and J Post, they by my side. You gotta never miss. miss. Woo! Huh? Oh, I'm bro. Miss. He had a bitch. Jump out with that fucking Glock and blow his eyes a fist. Put a switcher right up on him, back. He can't get away from this. Man, bro, was in that band, you know we boxing man. Get up close, I kiss the old, you know I'm trying to kiss And you know I got a TJ with me, you know he blowing shit Keep a Glock 19 in my pants, you know he ho Can't believe he died before me So lay my Oh my god Real nigga, light one up for them real niggas. Real niggas, I know booze. I'm mad, nigga. We outside. I'm mad, nigga. Damn, dog. He going in, but he going in with his shirt. Damn, he gotta be put. He but, but dog, but dog. He should have never been on that road, dude. <laughs> he should have never been on that road. My dog gotta get but.
He jerked though, this thing get butt, Let me see who that is. Make sure you call him the right person, JT. I oh, love JT. That's my big brother. Sight oh. big fire as fuck, man. Rest in peace, Monty. Gan TJ 